I got an apprenticeship from IBM. And I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. You're a phony! So first off, any and everything I mentioned in this video is from my own thoughts and my own opinions, my own views, and does not in any way re represent or attempt to represent views and perspective or opinions of IBM. So now that that's out of the way, I guess we can celebrate. So some backstory, a couple of months ago, a friend of mine introduced me to the idea of the apprenticeship. And he just told me to check out the website, and I did. I went home, I looked at the listing on the website, and there I was, and it just blew me away. In the requirements, I saw that you had to gently tap the like button and subscribe. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, what I actually saw was this. Required education, high school, diploma, GED. I have that. But then instantly reality hit. Like with a wife, a kid, and a mortgage, it's really stressful and like just it's just tough to change to a new job, especially one that I'm not really sure about, you know? And that's I've never heard of something like this before. Like other than maybe in Europe, but not in America. So after a long week of tossing and turning in bed, you know, struggling with this decision, I just chose to do it. I applied, I took the leap, because I wanted to plan for success, not for failure. I kept thinking of these bad scenarios in my head, how I was going to fail, and I wasn't going to get the job at the end, because I, I would suck. You know what I mean? You know, real code phony shit. And I just decided to do it. So after a month of interviews and tests and things like that, I got an offer letter on the 21st of May. And I took it. I would love to show you guys the offer letter, but I'm not sure if that's allowed. But I can say I do believe that it was a very nice, professional, and encouraging letter that, you know, it really excited me, got me going to start at IBM. And it really felt like opening a letter to like a nerdy Hogwarts or something, you know what I mean? More importantly to that, I felt like it was like a second chance. It was like a second chance. At life. Yes, I was already a developer, but when thinking about a long-term career, I needed better experience than a local law firm. Like, local law firm, IBM, you know? Substantial long-term career growth, like resume booster, law firm, uh, completely dead-end job, basically. And I'm here now, after one month in the program, and I can say that I'm really impressed. As a side note, there's a channel that I really enjoy, it's called Valuetainment. I'll provide a link in the description below. But he talks about how college is being kind of phased out in the... in in industry and like it because they're just not providing enough useful like employees for them with the correct with the skills that they need because the market is adapt changing and adapting so fast and that's why companies are taking it upon themselves to train people themselves you know what i mean like training someone from scratch for one year versus waiting four to six years for someone to go through college and really they're just going to college for the college experience for the most part and then like they get their bachelor's degree and they go to go to school uh, go to work where like why couldn't the company save some time which is ultimately the most valuable asset and train people themselves you know and that way they they can adapt to the market much more quickly and it's it's just more agile of an approach I don't think I should really go into detail about what we're learning in the apprenticeship, but I can say that they're teaching us how to provide value, how to adapt and learn, which are three concepts I can really get behind. And I think that's one of the reasons I couldn't really get behind the college model because it was just really doing what you're told without question. And for this like phantom job at the end where these imaginary companies were going to be fighting over me once I graduated. And I just never saw the end, you know what I mean? The goal. Like, I'm a very 
goal-oriented person and I need to have these concrete goals to work towards or else I just lose the motivation because I don't see, uh, I can't envision it, you know what I mean? And with an apprenticeship, we know exactly what we need to learn to be successful in the role that they want us to play in the company because that's what exactly what they're training us for. So we can be hired on and we'll be working like, we, we can hit the ground running like we've been working there since day one. And that's what I, that's my favorite part of this whole experience so far is just the transparency. Like, I know how things are gonna work. So yeah, I've been learning a lot more about programming and I'm gonna get back into doing React tutorials because it's, I think it's gonna align with my studies at some point. And I try my best to, you know, really drill down into the subjects instead of just glancing over it like I, I used to do. A quote I heard from one of my managers was, Death over breath. And it really resonated with me because, I mean, like I said, I was glancing over things instead of drilling in. And I'm really gonna try to make myself use as useful as possible in the field that I'm gonna be in. And hopefully I can just grow my, my like broaden my skill set from there, which I think would be a better strategy than just, you know, being a jack of all trades and a master of none. And as for my classmates, I think IBM did a great job choosing a group of just super motivated, super motivated, super hungry people who, you know, are just, we're just all like-minded and it's really hard not to just sit and socialize all day, which I'm forcing myself not to. I'm just putting my head down and studying because I don't want a repeat of college. In college, I socialized way too much and didn't get anything done. I'm going to do the opposite this time and focus on getting myself through this program first. And then once I'm on projects, I can do as much, you know, socializing and whatever as I want. But right now, my focus is to do as best, the best possible, you know, job I can do in training myself to become ready for this role. And, uh, you know, just if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. You know, I'll, I respond to all 10 of my subscribers. <laughs> I'll update you guys again next month. Stay tuned and definitely don't forget to gently tap that thumbs up icon. And if you, you know, if you want a reminder, you can tap the bell icon and it'll remind you whenever I make a post. Code Phony out. See you later.